Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 216 of Java for Tester series, that is abstract classes and their fields. So abstract classes and their fields. So to understand this, let me ask few questions. That is, can we create fields inside the abstract classes? Can we create Fields means variables case. Okay, fields are nothing but variables in Java. Okay, can we create fields inside the abstract classes? The answer is yes. We can create. Okay, yes, we can create fields inside this abstract classes. So the second question comes up here is: Are there any restrictions or any any are there any restrictions or any Differences between the fields created in abstract classes and normal classes. There is no difference, guys. There are no restrictions or no differences. Okay, if you create some fields inside this abstract classes, it's actually same as the fields that are created in the normal classes. Okay, there is no much restrictions there. Unlike interfaces. Unlike interfaces, which I have explained in one of the previous videos, okay, in interfaces, if you create some fields or variables, okay, they are by default final and static type, right? The variables or fields created inside these interfaces are by default final and static type. But coming to the abstract classes, but coming to the abstract classes, there there are no such kind of things, guys. Okay, there. Abstract classes are like normal classes. If you create some variables or fields inside this normal classes, it's actually same as the creation of the variable sign or fields inside the abstract classes. Okay. To confirm that, let me create an abstract class and show you that there is no difference. So let me create a normal class, say animal here. You can create anything, and I will make this animal class an abstract class by adding this abstract non access modifier inside this abstract class. I am going to create some fields that is variables in speed. Okay, int speed is the field or variable. So I can actually add private here. I can actually add protected here. There are no restrictions, guys. Okay, private, protected. What is the other one? Public. Then default. Okay, it's like normal class. There are no restrictions here. And also, these are like you can actually create some non-access modifiers also before them, like final. Okay, final means you have to give some value. Okay, the final value you have to give here. Or uh, you can say static, okay? Static also you can mention like this. These are normal fields, guys. Okay, the fields created in the normal class are same as the fields created inside the abstract class. There are no much differences. But coming to the interfaces, there are some restrictions for these fields, guys. If you create some fields inside the interfaces by default, even though you don't specify final static, those variables or fields inside this interfaces are created as final and static by default. Internally itself, they are final static. But coming to the abstract classes. They are like normal classes, guys. What are the variables or fields that you create inside the abstract classes? Are same as the variables or fields that are created inside the classes. Okay, so there is not much difference between the normal classes and abstract classes in the, with respect to the fields. Okay, so that's it about the abstract classes and their fields, uh, guys. Uh, in the next video session, I'll continue with the other abstract classes concept, that is abstract classes and constructors. Abstract classes and its relation with the constructors. That thing I am going to explain in the next video session. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.